We're here with head coach PJ Fleck with the first post practice uh, spring report. Coach, how was day one? I thought it was terrific. I thought the energy and the purpose and the passion and the pride was was high. The intensity was there. And I think anytime you start a program and your first day of practice, you know, the execution is not going to be where you want, whether it's offensively or defensively or special teams. Um, but I thought the energy was there. And I was really excited about the group we get to coach. Obviously, anybody who saw practice saw the intensity of it. It speaks to the Prefontaine pace that you spoke about before practice ever started. Are the guys there? Are they at that pace set? Or where do they need to get to? Well, they're getting closer. I think the Prefontaine pace, you're never there. There's never an end to it. You know, and it's all about the journey. And uh, every practice we have, we're going to get better and better and better and better at it. And there's never an end to it. But that's the great thing about it is uh, they'll always continue to develop it and we'll continue to demand it on a daily basis. Football is a goal-oriented goal sport. Uh, obviously, the coaching staff probably had goals for today and for Thursday and for Saturday. How did you uh, achieve or how did you get to those goals today? We only have one program goal, uh, program goal. Now, we have three individual goals in terms of offense, defense, and special teams each. Uh, however, we have one program goal, and that is learn. Very simple. Learn how to practice. Learn the tempo. Learn how to carry the football. Learn how to protect it. Learn how to uh, speak in Bronconese, and, and that's our own language. They have to learn how to do that. Uh, to learn their assignments. Learn their gap fits. Um, you know, learn our special teams roles. I mean, there's so much to learn, and uh, that's why we're teachers. We're educators as coaches, and that's a lot of fun when you get the, the first start of it and you get the first practice to be able to install all that. And uh, they've done a they've done an excellent job, and uh, we're on our way to being elite. I saw you walking around and running around, you know, each of the individual areas. What were some of the positional units you thought stood out today and maybe even some individuals themselves? Well, I thought just the energy in general of every position was up. And I think that carries over. That's a lot of credit to the players and our coaching staff uh, through the winter condition developing that type of mentality. But I think one of the guys on defense, you know, um, Brant stuck out, stuck out to me a lot. I mean, that kid's flying around having fun, but I think all of them are. Um, you know, a kid like Elba, uh, Elba showed up and made some plays on defense today. And I could go on and on uh, about some of those guys, uh, you know, up front. We, we, we played hard and uh, played hard with our heart. So I'm just pleased as a whole, as a head football coach, you look at it a little bit different when you're not a position coach because you look at the whole 100 guys that you have and you're sitting there watching them. But uh, I was just pleased as a whole and as a team that we're starting to become a lead on a daily basis and it's starting to become our mentality on a daily basis and what we expect of each other. Final question, obviously you'll go and you'll look at the film of practice and kind of put in the, for the game plan for Thursday, but what will you look for and what will you try to do the rest of this first week? Keep learning. Very simple. Just continue to learn. And each day if they just continue to learn and stack a, uh, an elite practice on top of another elite practice and continue to bring each other up to an elite level and uh, leave no man left behind, um, we'll get to where we want to be towards the end of the spring. All right, thanks, Coach. Absolutely. Next up, we will have Johnny Simon talking about his first practice under Coach Fleck and of the spring. We'll be right back. All right, we're here with Johnny Simon, senior linebacker. Johnny, day one practice looked pretty energetic. How was it for you? Oh, yeah, it was energetic. You know, we was out there communicating, doing a lot of talking, flying around. You know, like he coach said, uh, spring spring practices is a learning stage. So we was doing a lot of learning today. You know, learning the plays. You know, just getting through it. You know, getting the feeling of, of, of the defense. Felt pretty good. Now, obviously, this is day one. You guys have had the winter workouts. There seemed to be some. A lot of is very very fast paced. But you guys all look like you knew exactly where you needed to be, what spots you need to be at. How much of that was ingrained in you guys? leading up to today's first practice? I mean, the, the coaches do a great job of telling us ahead of time, you know, of what we're going to be doing and how, how they want it done, you know, and making sure we're doing that at a, good, at a fast pace. So that's why. Now, obviously, you don't want to give away any schemes or anything like that, but this defense in 2013, uh, what can you say about how you expect to play um, in terms of flying forward towards the ball? Um, what's going to be your role? As a defense, we're going to be nectons. And we gonna that means we gonna be attacking everything. That's a, that's the phase. That's that's what coach used. Next time pace, prefontaine pace. That means we're going, we're attacking everything at full speed, and we, we're on the run. That's it. Now, over the past two seasons, you've had over 100 tackles each time, all conference, both years. What are some of your goals coming into 2013? Well, my goal is to get my team to to the MAC championship, and you know I've been here 
I've been here three years and we haven't got, gotten there yet, and that's my goal. What do you see in practice from the other guys on the defense uh, that lends you to believe that we're going to be able to take that step? I see a lot of guys. A lot of guys are hungry. I see it in their eyes. They're hungry. They want to get better. They want to make plays. And you know that that I like that as 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 a player. I, I love to see that, especially guys with guys on my team. You know, a hungry dog is a dangerous dog, and that's what that's what Coach told us in our meeting. That's excellent. I think we'll end on that. Thank you, Johnny, and thanks to Coach Fleck. Uh, this is again day one of the. Uh, Western Michigan 2013 spring season. We'll have a daily report after each practice throughout the season, culminating in the brown and gold game on April 20th.